customers want to know what's going on in their applications. They want to know when the next maintenance break has to be done. That's the reason why IGEST established the new business unit IGEST Smart Plastics since beginning of this year. My name is Richard Habering and I'm head of the business unit Smart Plastics of IGEST. Sensors are able to integrate in nearly all of our product. For example, these are two driving T guides and we measure at the end of the rail and you see this one is fine, this one is at the end of the, of the lifetime and the gliding parts needs to be changed. In general, we have a lot of sensor technologies, some of them since 14 years in the field. For example, the push-pull detection system for detecting unexpected events in long travel uh, applications. Um, what is new is the new housing for the um, device, uh, for the sensor device, which is now built in a Dean Rail housing, which allow the customer to choose the different modules and put them together in the cabinet by saving space. All of these modules having an SD card for data logging and an URRT interface for sending the serial data direct to customer's control unit. So this is the maximum and flexibility the customer can have to realize sensor technologies which uh, with a switch off technology means one contact opens in case of crossing the limits and customer has to um, program it in his PLC software. The newest development of sensor technology is the so-called ECI sensor. The ECI sensor is integrated in a chain link and measure the distance between the links. During the lifetime, because of the clearance inside the links, this distance becomes bigger. And this is an indicator for the lifetime which can be given in percentage. And as you can see here, we measure this distance between the links and you can see the lifetime more or less directly given in percent on the monitor. At the day of installation, this given number is based on the output on the IGES lifetime calculator of the products in the internet. This lifetime calculation based on the experience from the biggest lab for dynamic applications in Cologne and many thousands of applications in the field and of course the experience of our engineers. The lifetime calculator is given or is filled with the weight, with the stroke, with the speed and is giving a statement the lifetime in double strokes. Here is a gyro sensor which measures the acceleration. By measuring the acceleration we are able to make a movement profile of the chain and by that it is possible to translate this given number of double strokes into a clear number of dates which will be given at the start of the system here. Now we adjust this figure with the wear sensor which gives a signal at a clear defined point of wear. So by that the theoretic calculation from the lifetime calculator is updated with the reality by the wear sensor which influence all the environments and all the external influences. Additional boost sensors sending the data in the internet and here there will be a kind of uh, um, data mining or a, a kind of uh, calculations which are done with AI algorithms, which are done with machine learning algorithms, which compare the number of strokes, the lifetime, with many other applications in the world, with the laboratory where we do thousands of tests simultaneously, and by that the system is continuously learning, and in most of the cases this number of days will be increased and the customer's time until he has to do the maintenance job will be stretched. Thanks.